So here we have a large and very, very heavy uh, single piece of uh, cotton jade of uh, dark green or spinach green cotton jade with uh, distinct cloudy uh, and russet inclusions. Uh, depiction the carving of uh, the mother goddess uh, Guanyin holding a Rui scepter in her hands. And uh, this is, um, uh, of course, here with a matching base um, carved from, from hardwood. And it's from the uh, possession, it's property from uh, the Empress of France, uh, Eugenie de Montillo. She was the wife of Napoleon III who was overthrown in 1870 and she uh, lived then in exile in London. Uh, this piece was sold in the 1950s by Christie's and it was published in the London Times uh, at the time because it was a big deal that such an important piece or uh, carving of jade uh, from, the, uh, from Empress Eugenie would be sold and uh, it, it achieved 250 guineas. Interesting is we know that this piece must from before 1870. This is a historic fact, of course, because uh, Empress Eugenie didn't uh, acquire any more pieces for her collection after she was overthrown and fled uh, uh, to exile in London. So this piece must date from before 1870, of course, we dated it mid 18th to mid 19th century, which seems probable uh, given the historic facts. But the actual uh, key uh, uh, information here is that um, uh, Eugenie, uh, Empress of France, was the founder of the Asian Art Museum, which is today located in Fontainebleau in Paris. Uh, and that came because uh, the commanding officer, uh, General Charles Cousin, uh, who was leading the French troops uh, in 1861 that sacked the uh, Summer Palace in, in Beijing, uh, sent 800 of the finest and most important Chinese works of art that were stolen by the French troops or looted by the French troops from the Summer Palace directly uh, in a shipment, and that is a, a fact of history, uh, to uh, Empress Eugenie as a tribute. And that's how she created um, the, um, the museum. Uh, but she kept a few of the very best pieces for herself, like this one here, uh, when she f had to flee Paris uh, a few years later, only when her husband, uh, Napoleon III, was overthrown. And she took it to London, and uh, she outlived her son. So um, it actually went to the, uh, uh, the grandson of her, her husband, uh, Prince Napoleon, and after he died, uh, the estate was sold at Christie's in London. And that's how the piece eventually made its way from the old summer palace in Beijing uh, to Empress Eugenie. There's some um, related pieces that were sold at auction, a smaller one, uh, only about half the size, 40 centimeters, um, uh, at Christie's New York for $290,000. And another one is in the Metropolitan Museum uh, that is, has about the same size, but uh, uh, not a dark cotton jade green, but more a pale uh, version of it.